Hey everybody, it's Heather Kay. Uh, today is day 71. This is your path to success. As you re remember yesterday, I said we got to eat smarter, we got to move more, and we got to stay ahead of the hunger. That was uh, um, the habits for a successful person. Today, I'm happy to report that I weighed in at my community contest, which I'm in, and that's the last day of that is uh, March 26th. So far, I'm not winning it, but that's okay uh, because I'm only uh, really against myself. If I win any prizes or money along the way, go me. So anyways, uh, there's a lot of people that are ahead of me on a, on a double percentage of when to go percentages of weight loss. So on my home scale, which for the purpose of this journey, this 100-day journey, I am down 5.8 pounds which is a total of 11.6 pounds. And I know that would be a 15, but you know, I had a vacation in there. And you know me, we, I enjoy life and I encourage you to enjoy life. Just don't enjoy life so too much that it interferes with who you want to be. So, I mean, I couldn't help that I was on this journey. I, um, I was really hoping, and like I said, I haven't had a vacation in such a long time. There was no way that I was gonna suffer. I was just gonna enjoy it, so. And if you enjoy life, to the, like you gotta think about, you gotta enjoy this journey. And that's probably my message today. Enjoy your journey. Enjoy your life. Um, by the way, in the the Cupcakes Anonymous Challenge, I'm only down 3.4 because I had a really big loss the first week. And I weighed in at a, at a lower one. But that's okay, too, because I'm in three. And when I compared my bathroom scale with the community scale, I found out they were indeed on the same path. And on the community uh, contest, I'm only down like 4.27% which is uh, almost nine pounds. So so there is a difference in the scales, but that's okay because uh, my bathroom scale, I'm weighing myself naked <laughs> before I get in a shower, <laughs> before my breakfast. So that's the discrepancies there. Time of day, all you have to do is be consistent. If you weigh yourself before supper, at the end of the day, in the morning, before you shower, as long as you stay consistent, that's where your true readings would be in. That's what I'm saying. Don't be beating yourself up on the scale because you would, the scale can actually throw you into a negative side where you think you're not having the success you want to have. But I like having all these different numbers because it teaches me that it's just a number. As long as you're losing, the fact I pulled on both scales, five pound weight loss this week, yay. Like, I mean, see, when you first start losing weight, you actually will lose more the first three weeks. And then it does plateau, and that's the hardest part when you plateau um, in any programs you've ever been in. And then you got to realize, because sometimes the plateau is all about not quite wanting to give up, not wanting to give up that last little bit. Like maybe, I'm going to give you for existence, uh, for instance, but not for existence. <laughs> oh, that did, I, I don't know what I said, but it didn't sound like come up, I, it, that I pronounced it clearly. For, for ex let's use for example. For example, you don't count condiments, right? And you don't count the licks, the bites, and the taste uh, when you sample your cooking. You have to, or not taste it, but when you're cooking for yourself, you have to taste it. So you have to be conscientious to those things going in uh, because uh, this week I did have a, um, a little bit of difficulty. Not only did I cook for my sons, I... Uh, I tasted it. I had that meal and that put me up a pound and it was so good. And my sons were like, wow, where'd you learn how to cook this meal? And I'm like, well, I'm just experimenting. And that's where I'm experimenting with my channel, Baby Vegan, as well as far as the meals. I want to find lifestyle. I want to find good, nutritious and abundance food. Anyway, that's all I want to have to say about the path is stay, stay true to the journey you're on and it's going to haunt you. In the evenings, you're going to want your old you, and it takes like 30 days to form a habit. So you got to remember that, and you have to fight through it. And it's an emotional experience. I have talked about that in my previous videos, and tomorrow I think I will, on the path to success, talk more about the emotional experience you're on. Okay, so don't beat yourself up. Just remember, you got to keep trying. If you if you fall off. Um, if you fall off, get right back on and make it one meal, not one day. See you tomorrow. Press like or subscribe. And hopefully I'm here to motivate you. And um, oh, yeah, there's like a notification button so you can see whenever I'm posting videos. And uh, once I get my 100 days in, which is April 10th, I won't be doing daily videos. I can't see it, but I will be often. So you'll get your Heather K fix on your videos. 
See you tomorrow.